Okay. Uh. And I am back. Uh. Do I need more ammo? Yeah, I'm full of ammo. Okay. There is taken care of. I wonder if now that I've done that, the door will be open. Okay, it won't be bad this. grow from here but I also can't hear them from there Whoop. okay they are aggro from there hmm. so aside from losing a lot of health how am I gonna take them all Also, prefer to not lose all my ammo because I kind of need it. So I guess ultimate. Okay, they've started to lose their armor, which is nice. That means that they're halfway down. Whoop. Okay. Ow. I don't think that's one of them gone. Nearly, but not quite. Aha. Okay. <clears throat> now that that's done, I kind of need to have I'll just take care of these guys because uh, despite the fact that they don't give bolts or ammo, they still do damage. And I would prefer to not take damage. That's generally a um, good way to go about things. Not taking damage, eh? Yeah. yeah but I don't think it was that bad of a hit. Uh, okay, I have two mini nukes. You I can take on with this. Ugh. Ok, 
Okay. That way. Yep. Okay, one of them has attacked one of the proto bits. Um. Okay. There we go. <clears throat> Oop. Okay. What's that? That's it. Uh, gonna get acid down. Yes, okay. Now these legs follow. But fortunately, I took him out. Oh, I should also remove the thing. Okay. <clears throat> Skill points. Now, uh, safety deposit. That might have been just destroying all the breakables in here. Hmm. I forget how you get that skill point, but I should get more ammo. <coughs> that would be nice. Okay, but fortunately all the enemies down here are dead, which means that I... <coughs> which means that if I need to return for ammo, it will be very easy for me to do. But the unfortunate thing is that at this point um, enemies sort of disappear and I need the uh, heavy lancer for these guys. But yeah, I don't think that very good difficulty will help me that much. Um, it'll make my weapons do more damage. Um, and of course, one way of which I could get past this level is to grind up 
bolts for the um, Yeah, one thing that I could do is grind up the million bolts. Oh, that was rough. It is. Yeah, I uh, grind up a million bolts. Or. Yeah, for the Carbonox armor. Uh. I'm doing a little bit better than I was, especially because I have more Presumably, if I try this again, I'm going to end up with a health upgrade at a point where I really don't want it. Um, let's see what happens. Hmm. Can I even return to my ship? That's another question that we had. Uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure I can actually return to my ship. That's a bit of a question, but okay. Right, so at some point, uh, the big guys will come down. Yep. Yeah, so that was an example of a health upgrade when I really didn't want to have a health upgrade. Um, if, I, if I got a health upgrade in that room, where I tend to take a lot of damage, then that would be... Uh, that would be better. Ideally, I would get a health upgrade in the last room. Then attempt to kill any of those enemies down there. I'm just gonna leg it down and leg it back up. Uh, I think that will be. I think that will be out. Okay. Then it's here. Right, because beyond. Well, I guess what can I do? Otherwise, I don't really need to do it all. Okay. Right, so I need to be more. So, really need to not take damage from them.
Yeah, there seems to be one of them playing on the list. That could also be an issue. So the Sheepinator has enough, well not DPS, but I guess KPS, uh, kills per second. Um, So, <clears throat> okay, so now I'm at the end of the path. Um, I think if I recall correctly, the last hypnomatic part is on Gwelbin. So that's going to be my next destination. Grab some ammo, please. I'm quite depleted. Okay. Sweet. Uh, yeah, Grelbin. Well, Grelbin. Bean it. Good to know. Mm. 
that's where you end up once you go through here. So is this the point where you need the... Oh, you... Okay, I see. It won't budge. Violence is not the answer. Can you move this rock, sir? I am able. And? Patience, young one. For the rock to move, the forces of the universe must align. So, can we make these forces align a little faster? Ah, yes. The holistic resonance of moonstones may yet guide these wayward forces. Mm -hmm. ah. Okay. Yes, yeah, so we need nine. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, three. I can actually take on those big guys with what I've got. Uh, it just takes uh, it just takes literally all of my mini moves and some of my um, some of my. Not much of my Lancer, but still some. Uh, also, what's fortunate about this <coughs> little segment where we have to um, the fortunate part about this segment. They're just popping up incessantly. Okay. Hello. Oh. Yes. Your arrival with the Moonstones is most fortuitous, for it is in this very moment that I am able to move the rock. <laughs> Gee, what a coincidence. Thank you, sir. That was most helpful. Your gratitude is comforting, child. I have also found a piece of something called a Hypnomatic. You may have it in exchange for more Moonstones. Wait, I thought you had no need for material possessions. Please, do not lay your burdens upon me now. I am weary from lifting the rock, and I must rest. Okay, so now I need 16 Moonstones. Uh, I don't think it's... Yeah, in this section of the map, I think there's only, like... Not death. No, that's just a, um... Okay. Uh... I want to get into here. <clears throat> right, 
So this is a glider section rather than a other thing section. However, I'm not sure if health matters here, but if it does... Okay. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that you normally have to go down this path uh, because what it, what this path does is it unlocks this outer area um, which gives you the hypnomatic part. But yeah, this glider part is <coughs> harder than the other ones. I don't know if I will be able to go. Hmm. I could skip this. I just don't know how many times I should attempt this before I decide that I'm going to skip it. Uh, I might also be taking a, the, a bad path there. Okay then, I'll take it. And a continue point. Yay! <clears throat> How's my ammo? Need more of it. Okay. I think this is one of two. Nope, that way. Hello. Ah. Just like as usual, they look a stick and shoot them. They didn't come to us, but okay. Oh! Uh, there we go. Just gets me right. Oh, okay. I see. There's the infiltrator thing, thing you need to do. Uh huh. And now I have access to the Carbonox armor. Uh, that has a 90% damage reduction. Whereas my current armor. So, you know, if <clears throat> if I had a hundred hits before death, my current armor would get me my current armor would give me two hundred ninety-four hits. Whereas the Carbonox armor would get me a thousand. So that's around three times more hits uh, that the armor would give me. 
However, in practice, I don't think it would work out that it, it precisely that way. Simply because, oops, <clears throat> because I'm fairly certain, especially going by how by the appearance of the health here, that the health in this game is an integer. In fact, it could very well be a single byte. Which lets me get even more of the rune stones. And once you have all of the moonstones, additional moonstones will uh, sell for 3,000 volts each. So make things more audible. And Okay. Hello. Uh hello? We've got more moonstones. No, you have not. What? Existence is a lie. 
Sensations are illusions. Possessions are merely visions. All right, I've got an illusion of some moonstones. I'll trade it for a vision of that hypnomatic part. You have learned much, young one. Now bring me more moonstones, and riches shall be your reward. Yep. Okay, but... Uh, aside from the actual hypnomatic, I don't actually need bolts for anything. Aside from a very, very, very slim possibility of purchasing the Carbonox armor. Um, however, I am not going to be purchasing the Carbonox armor unless I really, really, really need it. Turn to the muscle. But odds, mo the most likely is that uh, I am sufficiently powerful to get past. Um, Yeah, so the most likely possibility is that I am sufficiently powerful to get past um, Yeetle, which is basically the last planet in the game, uh, with only the Heavy Lancer, the Minuke, and the Sheepinator. Hello. Yeah, ten thousand bolts. Use it wisely. Do not even think about it. Okay. Uh, no, <clears throat> I don't speed run th this game. Um, I have done a speed run of Ratchet Deadlock. But it's like I I think I'm se uh, seventh place, maybe eighth place. Um, no. Okay. Okay. Right. So yeah. Uh, with this, I believe it's easy enough to just. that button brings the thing back. Okay. <clears throat> now, however, a few of the speedrun strategies for this game, I have actually um, successfully done on stream, although I don't think I've done any speedrun strats in this um, in this particular playthrough. Uh, Yeah, I'm pretty much certain that I haven't done any speedrun strats in this playthrough. Oops, didn't mean to press time. Oh, oops. Uh, I have, I have done a um. Okay. I have done a playthrough of, um, or attempted, attempted a playthrough of this game while, while killing as, uh, while killing as few enemies as possible. 
Um, but the trouble with that sort of gameplay is that uh, the goal itself of killing as few enemies as possible breaks down really, really quickly when you have the effect that in in a lot of places in the game if you get past an area um, and then well if you do a part of, an, of a level like say a puzzle and then you complete the puzzle and then you die shortly after the puzzle uh, what will happen is that the puzzle will stay completed um, and so some enemies that you would have normally had to kill to start up the puzzle uh, no longer need to be killed because the puzzle is now done so the thing is do you count them as kills or do not um, and then you have the effect whereby um, whereby the amount of XP that you have increases if even if you die uh, and so you can go part way through a level kill an enemy that must be killed and then go uh, a little further through The uh, uh, I believe my stick on the Yep. And that's all the hypnotizer for this level, I believe. And I also got a helper. Okay. <coughs> yeah. Um. I haven't actually, in this playthrough, I haven't actually broken the game that much. Um, but I did a, I, last week, I think it was last week, either last week or the week before, um, I did a playthrough of the first game. And there was a lot more breaking of the game that happened in that season. Um I think I broke at least half of the levels that I played in in that game when I played it. Oh, there we go. Hey, nice digs. Yeah, it's a uh little remnant from my previous life. You were reincarnated? No, no. My Megacorp days. They've got a very generous bonus package. Uh, right. So now that you've got your ID badge, how do we take out the protopet? Watch this. Mommy, where do protopet come from? Why, they come from Megacorp, dear. That's right, Mrs. Robot. All of the protopets in the galaxy come from right here, in our factory. Your little friend is lovingly extracted from the original protopet. Each protopet is given a name and birth certificate that is unique. 
Our training system helps mold your pet into a wonderful friend that you'll cherish forever. So the next time your child asks, Mommy, where do proto-pets come from? You can answer with confidence. They come from Megacorp. That factory is using the original protobet to produce all the others. Exactly. If we can take out the original protopet, that'll shut them down permanently. 20% off a complete service at Groovy Lou. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> Wrong one. This will deactivate the door to the protopet duplication area. I'll meet you there. Sure you want to split up? Well, Megacorp's orbital defenses are nasty. With two ships, there's a good chance at least one of us will get through. Good thinking. Just be careful. Right. And now I have Yidl. Um. Okay. Yeah. There are a lot of glitch there are a lot of glitches in um, deadlocks. Uh, but for one thing I'd point out that in my speedrun, due to my limited uh, knowledge and ability to execute the glitches, uh, in my particular speedrun I believe there's only one glitch that I actually do. Um, and it skips a very small part. Um, although, I will also say... Um, hope I didn't accidentally skip a cutscene. But, um... Yeah, oh, that is just fun. Okay. Yeah. So I, I, w I would say that the first three games are probably more broken than uh, no. I didn't know the grind rails were directional. Okay. Right. Random bolt button. Sweet. Oh, okay. Yeah, so one measure of what you can of how broken a game is is how much of the game you can skip. Uh whether Whether you're skipping, um, uh, whether you're skipping part of a level, or perhaps an entire level altogether. There we go. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah, like for example, in Deadlocked, uh, you can't actually skip any of the planets at all. Actually, what was new? Okay, that's all of the weapons I have available. Good to know. Uh, yeah, so in Deadlocked, you can't actually skip any of the planets. You also can't skip any of the challenges. Um, you can only skip parts of some of the challenges. Uh, I'll actually just run past these guys because I don't need to kill them. You. 
I'll do that with. Actually, I can just run past it. That would do fine. Especially for. It actually seems like my wrench might actually I mean, not be the most powerful weapon I have. Um, but for the other guys, I'll just use. Yes, okay, sweet. Yeah, so as far as I know, in Deadlocked, um, There we go. Yeah, this is the last planet, in fact. <coughs> That's also the last use of the hypnotizer. And I'm roughly halfway through the planet. Yeah, Mega Pet boss fight. Okay. <coughs> yeah, so in Deadlock, the things that I know you can skip uh, is. I know you can skip through a lot of the... Oh. I had like, no health there anyway, so it doesn't really matter. One of the challenges you can skip a part of. I think I'll just focus on these guys because if I kill all of Yeah, I can just run. Probably due to me being a bit too rushy. Uh, yeah, so 
So, up until that last room that I was very nearly in, you can just run past all of these enemies. Uh, it's not really going to serve me much of a benefit now to kill them all. Free health is always a plus. Okay, this room. Uh, this is the first room in the in this part of the level where you have to kill things. They just cancel me out of it. Okay. Yeah, so I actually have to kill all these enemies in order to be able to um I'm not sure how many waves of them there are. It might be three. Uh, no worries, sign. <coughs> well, in this scenario, it's not so much that you have to kill enemies to open the door. Um, just shoot it. If I recall correctly though, once... Yeah, I'm not gonna... Hmm. I wonder... How useful this weapon will be. Uh, I don't need this because that means what? So, that'll be a piece of crap, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, so I... Th if I were to uh, do a ton of grinding, like a really, really huge amount of grinding. I, I would. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I am actually still full of ammo, which is nice. Uh. Run. Okay, if I run up here. No. I think if I were to... If I were to uh, have the Carbonox armor... Um, if I were to have 
Really a flying guy? For the bolts for the Kamrox armor, I would need. I, I would need about eight hundred thousand. Oh, yeah. as well. Fortunately, I am getting close to a health upgrade. Unfortunately, I am not as anywhere near as close as I need to be. See if I'm very lucky. I will actually receive enough nanotech. Okay. There we go. Okay. That nanotech upgrade is the basically the sole reason why I won there. I don't think I would have been able to do it without either upgrading right then. Ah, this not fun. What else? Okay. You. You're dead up there, okay. Right. There we go. <clears throat> I think that's the last of those things in the level. But I don't think I'm actually. The thrust attack actually helps in this uh, particular jump. Otherwise, without the thruster pack, you actually... The timing for that jump is very tight, and you have to wait quite a while. Uh, okay, but I should be relatively fine, and if I'm not, I'll just return with full ammo. Now that I've done that infiltrator puzzle, um, yeah, now that I've done the infiltrator puzzle, uh, I, next time I need to go through to say this point, um, the infiltrator puzzle will have been already done. Yeah, I don't quite have enough to make more. 
I would have if I were to die and come back with full ammo. However, with the thruster pack, you can just barely make it across if you do a very, very precisely timed double jump. So I may as well give it an attempt. Okay. One, two. Ah, nice. But yeah, normally you have to kill both, and normally you have the weapons such that killing both isn't that big of a deal. Uh, I wonder if I can turn this any of this shit to just damage it enough. So I can do that. Aha! Uh -huh. And... Quite a significant amount of... Time reduction, okay. But yeah, now, by killing both, that swing shot there has spawned in. Um... Okay, now the last... Electrolyzer puzzle of the game. So it's two flip, one, two flip, one flip. Okay. It's two flip, two flip, one. Hmm. It's two flip, one flip, one. One, two flip, one flip, one. Flip, one flip, one, one. Okay. There we go. <coughs> right. Uh, I'll have the mini nuke ready, but I don't think I will need it. Um... Actually, I could just... Have a boss to kill. This is it, the protopet duplication room. <sighs> I'm sorry I'm late. I had some trouble with the guards. No problem. You're just in time. Okay, let's see if this thing works. She is trying to tell us something. Bye now. Enjoy the hygienator. <laughs> Remember, you bought it from Steve. <laughs> Steve McCork. Indeed. Now that I've sold my one millionth hygienator, I can finance the comeback of the greatest superhero who ever lived, Captain Quark. All I need now is a new galaxy with a new fan base, so I can rescue them from a new disaster! <laughs> uh, Sir, I do not understand. Mr. Fizzwidget! <laughs> this is bad. Oh, 
All right, just what the f is going on? <laughs> Allow me to explain. I'm about to save the galaxy from the protopets, and you are about to become public enemy number one. Oh, and two and three. Guards, seize them! Smile, it's showtime! <clears throat> Citizens of Bogon, I am Captain Quark. I come to you in this, your darkest of hours, to shine the flashlight of justice on your galaxy. <laughs> the flashlight of justice? <laughs> oh. As you know. A living menace called the Proto-Pet has been sent loose in your galaxy. But fear not, Boganites. I, Captain Quark, have caught the perpetrators. Yes, good citizens, these are the masterminds behind Megacorp's experiment with death. And now, with this, uh, super electro... Gadget I invented, I will end the protopath threat once and for all. That's my elixamorph. I invented it. <laughs> Ahem. Stay tuned, dear viewers, as I amplify the signal from this helix so thingy and render every protopath in the galaxy completely harmless. Allow me to demonstrate. <laughs> Does that Elixomorph actually work? It used to. I could probably fix it. Come on, Clank. Let's get it back. Okay. Right, so now... Uh, for one thing, I'll want the helipack back. Because it's quite useful. Uh... So, as the best I can tell, I am as strong as I'm going to be for this boss fight. Uh, aside from grinding for more health, or for the Carbonox armor, of which I'll probably be doing both if I needed to, um, I basically have everything. <clears throat> right. But first order of business, I have to take the green make to the press. Hey, okay. give him some rich. Uh, I think... <clears throat> if memory serves me right, I think this boss is weaker. Uh, I think this boss is weaker than the swamp boss. Which I was able to complete under this skill set. Hello. I'm coming for you. Okay. However, it might be. Beneficial. Dip Although I don't think these enemies here. Um, okay. 
So, yeah, those enemies there do... They don't re... They don't, like, reproduce. Which is nice. Pick up that box, please. I need... That's a lot of damage. Yes! Okay. That's not gonna go well. I could potentially get a health upgrade though. Um, although it might be the case that those enemies yeah I don't think that they actually give experience oh that's gonna be bad That should have done less damage. Okay. Uh, hmm. <clears throat> I also know of a way to completely cheese this boss uh, such that I don't have to do anything at all. Um, and it... Wow, that's a lot of hits. Okay, he's picking up that, so I'm actually best off uh, wrenching him. <coughs> Simply because the wrench does... Well, it's... Probably my most powerful weapon, in fact. Oop, go. I should be more dodging. Okay. You pick up that, which is nice. Okay. Yeah, so <coughs> the general way in which you cheese this well, in which you cheese this boss fight. Um With any luck, you will go for that again. Yep. Yeah, but the general way in which you cheese the boss fight is uh, the very corners, in the very corners of the map, the only way that the proto pet can attack you is, I believe, uh, no. Oh. Are you going to go for the thing again? Yeah, so you generally stand on the very corner of the... Um, okay, another one's gone. I'll take the free armor. That's going to be nice. Yay! Okay. Yeah, so I'm doing about as well as I was... Oh. Is that going to be you going for that? Yep. I'm going to head that into there. Okay. Right, so those bombs that spawn uh, can be... And I'm dead. Okay, uh, the the bombs that can be moved around with the um with the uh, with the tractor beam. I think I will only be going for them. 
if the proto pet is the only enemy here. Um, otherwise, it won't be worth it. For that, which means I'm going to use my wrench now. Hope you enjoy me being inside your mouth and wrenching you up something fierce. Okay. Thanks a bit. Off to the side. If we uh, dodge, <coughs> a bit like bullfighting, I guess. Except rather than being a office bull, you're it's a you just. But yeah, for the most part, as far as I can tell, you're actually safe inside of his hitbox. While that happens, <coughs> whoop! Hopefully, you don't smack into me or that. It's good to know he sort of curves around when he does that. Okay, go for that, please. Thank you. Um, also, of note is or something that I've mentioned previously, and that's... Okay, now he's doing the... Punch down. Oh, he's trying to punch down on me. Okay. Now oh, those enemies are actually going after that guy. Or Going after both, actually. Whoa. I don't know if those things are in. Okay. Right, there's one guy left. Hoping they would stop spawning, but uh. yeah, I don't think after this phase you can do that trick where you go close up. Better scratch my nose.
don't think he actually might actually just be a Hmm. So yeah, I kind of actually do need to go straight to this. Um, not sure how much damage it does to him. Probably the only good way I actually have of damaging him actually is to wait for that to come up and then swing it into him. Because either he's completely invincible Bit of damage done. Uh, and now it's dodging time. Okay. Guess I'll just use that for that unless you're gonna do the oh, nope. Yeah you mini nook. Bomb spawn, sweet. Okay, how many more are you gonna do? There we go. Okay, is that gonna be you doing the bouncy bounce? Yes, it is. I'll save the mini mook for I guess the tanks that spawn. The tanks are sort of outside, so I can't even that. Okay. Right, so I basically more or less have to dodge the tank bullets. That's okay. Is that everything? Yes, it is. Oh, oh. in. Okay. I may as well let you get that. I'll give you some of that and some of that. Good. Not sure what that's supposed to be. Probably some mim 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 uh, mimicking of the plasma flow. Okay. Destroy them all. Fuck. Mm -hmm. that. There we go. Probably not going to make it this time. Uh, however, I will give this some more attempts. Uh, hopefully, I will be able to make. Better use. Ah. 
Ah, uh, well. There I go. Okay. I think that enemy is invincible while they're doing uh, the um, thing. They're going to go straight for that, so I'm going to let them do it. Although, I, I'm i not sure if I'm actually doing more damage or not. We're gonna go for the cheap pick. Okay. Yeah. So. Uh, right. So unlike the swamp boss two, which has, well, I might be doing a bit more damage, although it might have something to do with the hitbox I'm hitting. Right, so I'm basically not observing any difference in my damage output or my or the damage I'm taking. If I keep dying and don't notice a uh, difficulty decrease, it might actually be worth it to go for the Carbonox. Go for the bouncy bounce. Boink. Boink. And that one. Okay. Ah, oh, no. Now he's gonna do the cheap trick. Okay. And there's a box of ammo. So if you don't want him to do the ammo trick, you can just do that. And that basically stops the ammo trick. Now that I know that all of his ammo attacks are um, only worth baiting him into on the first phase, um, okay, no, I can And the Pogo Pets do a huge amount of damage.
the ah. Okay. Now on to that phase. Come on. Pick it up. There we go. Good boy. Okay. But yeah. After that, yep. and that. Okay, so the uh, tractor beam bombs actually um, they actually damage the boss while it's shielded, which is a nice thing to have. Yes. use the lance on these guys. the ammo as well. Oh, that was fun. Ah, good sound. Oh, now you're going up to this place. Hey. <coughs> I have noticed that the proto pet is now actually going on to this phase. Can I use a sheepinator? Okay, the sheepinator is worthless here, basically. Um. Go for the bomb now? Not yet. What about now? Yes, okay. Alright. Once again, going on with a cheap trick. Mm, okay. Next phase is a bomb. So I steer the. Ah! He's stuck outside of the level. That's really, really cool. That's well, really, really nice and useful. Um, hopefully, the proto pet doesn't happen to kill him, because that would be bad. Because then more would spawn. Okay. Uh, camera. Get, fuck. You missed it, but if I keep going around, hopefully I... Okay. Are you going to break the crate?
Okay. Now, what are you going to do next? Cheap trick. Okay. Okay, now if I bait him over to about here. Did it? Yes. Okay. He does that. And now on to some more dodging. Fuck. Damn it. Why could you not kill that enemy? You are going doing so well with not killing that enemy. Okay. Okay. Ugh. a bit more damage done to him. Item is you being an asshole. Great. Okay. Hmm. Right. There we go. Right. So I'm probably best off running from them and letting the enemies take them out by accident. Okay. Destroy that. Fuck. That's okay though. I'll give you a little bit of an You just had to shoot in the wrong direction, didn't you? You know, you couldn't, like, shoot in the direction I was facing. No, you had to shoot in a wildly different direction. Okay. Right. That was close. Okay. Also good to know that I destroyed the crate. Whoa. Hmm. Although it also occurs to me that one of the reasons Yeah, one of the... Well, I'm dead. What was I going to say before I died? I don't remember. Okay. Okay, so what I'm going to do... Yeah, there's... Well, there's basically no... As far as I can tell, no actual difficulty decrease from the tuning system. Yeah.
Yeah, it's basically... The difficulty, I would say, is roughly the same as the very first time. Um, like, my base Hyper Strike damage amount is the same. Sometimes you'll see it do double damage and I think that's because this boss has multiple hitboxes so if the hyper strike passes through multiple hitboxes it does more damage to him. Yeah, so I can get past this phase pretty easily but Considering the amount of hits that I can do to him, well... Uh, okay. I think what I'm going to do now is try to... Try to cheese it. and wait for him to do the thing and if he goes with that then you're basically screwed I think can they actually hit me from over here? they go around randomly but yeah okay so it's a case of standing over there and hoping well that was a little too far of a jump By shooting that, I can bait him into doing the proto pet attack because that's the attack I really need him to do. Uh, okay, so it worked, but. Well, fuck. I nearly got it. I don't think having the proto pet hit you will do any damage to you. Yeah, so I shoot that. <coughs> and now I just wait for him to die. Ah. Hopefully this works. Like this, anyway. So yeah. Uh, anytime you have issues with a boss... Actually, you know what? I can do this. There. Okay. <clears throat> I think this is actually a little faster than just wrenching him. <clears throat> With this particular Sheikinator, it might be faster still to um, hyper strike him. But. Okay. So yeah. If the challenge was wrench only, then the I would just be going through and wrenching him to death. But since the challenge allowed me to use this weapon, I can just stand here and wait for him to be destroyed.
Okay. Also, if you're all concerned about the Proto Pets um, crashing the game due to the amount of in that spawn, uh, they're actually dying uh, off the ledge on the kill plane. So yeah, basically, there we go. supply closet all this time gentlemen you have my most profound gratitude it was nothing sir I'm just sorry we couldn't get the helixomorph back <laughs> right what do you suppose is wrong with it uh, I don't know it could take months of research and the battery is in backwards oops Imbecilic to the very last. <laughs> Down, boy. I just have to amplify the device with Megacorp's TV transponders, and that should cure the other protopets. Clank? Uh oh. It's okay. I can fix her. I promise. Okay. <clears throat> ah, Mike's out. Okay. Yeah, so... As I was about to say, um, don't worry about... Um, don't worry about the game crashing from doing that, uh, I guess, glitch. And that's because the proto pets die on the death plane, basically. Um, <clears throat> if that wasn't the case, there would have been two signs of it happening. The first sign would be <clears throat> would be um, at some point the proto pet would stop. Launching proto the well the big proto pet would stop launching the little proto pets down there uh, and would just start just running around. The second thing that would happen if the those proto pets didn't die is that if the big proto pet didn't stop, the game would start to. Uh, so, what do you like to do for fun? Oh. My goodness. <laughs> <laughs> so, whatever happened to Quark? I heard he was working at Megacorp. So, you fellas new here? You boys should sign up for the new Probomatic. That little baby clean just something fierce. I just got done testing the full body waxinator. I am personally sporting a smooth chassis, and there are no tags on my luggage. All right then. Catch you later. Subject 23A. Please report immediately for crotchetizer testing. Well, duty calls.
Yeah. So basically, if the protopets were to be spawning infinitely, um, then yeah, if the protopets were to be spawning infinitely, then the frame rate would start to reduce, and that would be noticeable in the animation of the sheepinator bar and the sheepinator beam. Uh, both would slow down and would uh, visibly reduce in speed. I think if the protopets weren't going to die from the death plane, the game would probably actually crash, not from the number of them, but it would probably first crash due to one of them <coughs> going below the negative uh, negative y coordinate uh, or negative elevation coordinate um, they fall below that and if you enter into a negative part of the map the game will crash uh, I should be over here alright fellas and nice and tight now yeah I should be over here tested this right Oh, wait, that's why I'm here! <laughs> oh, one more thing! Yay! Challenge mode. Uh, this one. Okay. Welcome back to Bah. <clears throat> yeah, so. Okay, they actually say this stuff here. Okay. Uh, special. That's that. Stuff. Uh, paintings. Yeah, so as I was saying, if a if anything goes into the negative coordinate of the of any map, the game will crash. Uh, that might not have been audible previously due to where my head was. Uh, oh yeah, shortcuts. Of which there are nothing. Oh well. <coughs> yeah, so here's the exterminator. Sign. Oh, that's on Demosol, right, I see. Robo robot chasing ratchet. Uh, that's the Snivelak fight. You can see from the chest thing it, that is a Snivelak fight. Um, yes, that's that. Um,
Oh, okay. That's in for uh, in the foreground is the exterminator ship. Huh. Okay, that's all of them. Nice. Yeah, so I guess for the rest of the stream I'll be going through challenge mode a bit. Um, actually, I'm gonna save. I'm gonna save over that. And I guess I'll keep going. Bryce. Bryce. Okay, I can put that there and that. I thought that had more XP though. I swear that was at like half XP. Hey, um... <clears throat> I'm playing Ratchet and Clank 2. Uh... Okay, put that there. Yeah, yeah I, I'm playing Ratchet and Clank 2 on the PlayStation 2. Uh... Ooh, that's a lot of... Hmm. Weird. I might have actually bugged out the sheep and hater. Oh, there's another deck. Is it? Okay, that doesn't tell you what mod it has. Yeah, so I'm playing this game on the PlayStation 2. Uh, I am aware that... Okay. Yeah, I am aware that there is a version on the PlayStation 3. However, um, there's two reasons why I can't play it on the PlayStation 3. Firstly, I don't have the game on PlayStation 3. And secondly, I don't have the means to record HDMI. So... Yeah, yeah so that, those are the reasons why I'm playing with this too. Um... And also, if you're curious, I am playing on a PAL PS2, uh, which means, well, uh, I think the primary thing that uh, PAL or NTSC PlayStation 2s affect is the speed of the charge bricks. Oh no, it's actually gaining XP. Okay. So the huge boost of experience from the proto pet, if it does give that much experience, uh, must have overflowed. Not something. Yeah. Oh, it's gaining a good amount of XP. Um. Right. Oh. 
Mark the screen. There we go. Um. Yeah, so that's basically that. So for the time being, I'm basically just uh, messing around uh, to finish up the screen. Uh, it's probably going to be ending uh, sooner rather than later. Whoa. Fifteen times multiplier. <coughs> oh yeah, yeah, okay. Right, um... Yeah, so the PS3 is able to... Uh, either hardware emulate or software emulate many PS3 games. Or at least the earlier. Uh, from my research, the earlier. PS3s are what are capable of doing that. Um. <clears throat> Ratchet checking in, sir. Incredulous. I didn't expect to hear from you again. Uh, so soon. There was a slight problem. The thief escaped with the experiment, and I have no idea where he was headed. Not to worry. I just received an omission which may lubricate the matter. Do you have it? Okay. Yeah, but not only is the PS3 capable of emulating PS2 games, but there's a PlayStation 3 version, like a sort of a same different remaster game, built specifically for the PS3. Um, oh, I can buy the Rhino from here. Nice. Ah, uh, yeah, I can buy the Walloper. Um, I can buy Tesla Claw, Decoy Glove, Visibomb Gun, Bomb Glove. Yeah. Ah, oh, and the Clang Zapper. <laughs> ah, funny. Right. Um. Hmm. <coughs> I guess I'll go on for a bit, a bit more. Uh, yeah. <coughs> so that's basically that. Aha! Uh -huh. XP up. Whoa. I wonder at which point I'm gonna level up the sheep meter. Lewis going up a bit more. just goes down if you shoot him. Ah, uh, funny. Ah, 
times 17, eh? Ooh, getting oodles of bolts. So hitting there basically reduces your uh, multiplier down to one. Try shapenating the boss and see what that does for this weapon. Uh, oops, I'm gonna level up soon. Uh, ow. Don't want to have that happen. Okay. Right. Oh no, it's a boss fight. that did to me, but it was probably a lot. But yeah, my wrench my action is probably... S okay, not that bad. Um... Well, it is that bad, actually. Looks like it's only doing 4 damage, though. I believe um, in new game uh, the boss does um, one because at this point you're basically going to have between six and eight hit points. So it looks like you can't shape and the boss. Oh well. Oh, 
Vamos a tener ahora. vendor spawns here <clears throat> okay so the fact that an armor vendor spawns here basically means that you know if you're at the very start you can grind up for the armor Actually, come to think of it, going the other way might actually upgrade my Shivenator. Actually, yeah, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to end the stream here. And the next stream on Friday is going to be on Ratchet Deadlocked. So I will see everybody then. Bye-bye.